Dirt Rally, hope you're doing good as always. Uh, it's been a while since I've done a guitar lesson on my channel, shame on me, slap my wrist. So I thought today I would sort that out and do a little lesson and for this I'm going to take inspiration from our drummer friends and think in terms of a drummer on the guitar. Now you may think this sounds a bit strange, you may think this sounds normal. <laughs> we will soon find out if we all think if it's normal or not. Uh, but basically, what we're going to do, we're going to divide our guitar strings up, all right? So there's six strings on the guitar, well, six strings on most contemporary guitars. Uh, and what we're going to do, we're going to divide the, the bottom three and the top three up, all right? And think of it as the bottom three strings as our bass drum, or uh, our bass drum, and then the top three strings as a snare. Now, you don't need to be able to play drums to understand what I'm talking about here. I hope you know what a bass drum is and what a snare drum is. All right, the bass drum's the big round thing at the bottom, what you, you pound your foot on, and then the snare is like, you know, a drum roll, that's a snare drum, all right? Right, so now you know what a bass drum and a snare drum is, let's do some uh, crazy noises. So, what we're gonna do, with our left hand, we're just gonna mute out the strings, all right? We don't really need that for the moment. Uh, and like I was just saying, we're gonna be dividing up the strings here. So this is our bass drum, and this is our snare drum, okay? So for the moment, if we think of it in terms of a boom, cha, boom, boom, cha, boom, cha, that kind of rhythm. So what I'm gonna do, this is my bass drum, so that's the boom, and in the top three strings is the cha. So you got boom, cha, boom, boom, cha, boom, cha, boom, boom, cha, boom, cha, boom, boom, cha. All right, do a bit more feeling in it. Okay, or I did a little da 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 at the end there. But we get to that later. So there's our boom cha, boom boom cha. Now if we just take an A minor chord, for argument's sake, and do that exact same rhythm with our right hand, and hopefully we'll get this. Okay, so you got that kind of thing happening. Now hopefully you notice on my left hand here, I'm taking the pressure on and off. So I'm doing, I'm playing that chord and then taking the pressure off of my left hand. So it's still over the strings, it's just not pushing down. So you got that happening. Let's play D minor. So it's just a simple boom, cha, boom, boom, cha, boom, cha, boom, boom, cha. Think in terms of like a drummer there. Now, from that, we can start putting some scratches in it. So we can just do simple up strokes like this. So what I'm doing is just raking up after the boom cha. So you got boom cha and then rake. Let's slow that down a little bit for you. So it just puts another little characteristic in your playing. Now, if you've got that under your belt, let's try doing kind of more of a single note thing happening. So we still keep that same rhythm, bum cha, bum bum cha, but now we're going to try this. So now it's a little bit harder because it needs more muting going on. But it's still based around that same pattern. So I've got like an octave thing going on here. So I'm playing the A to the A, A on the 6th string, 5th fret, to the A on the 4th string, 7th fret. Okay, but I'm still doing that muting, so my first finger is over those 6 strings still. 
stop when you're on one two strings ringing it. And then I'm going back to the A again, doing a little the rake of uh, like I just mentioning. And then doing two bum bums on that bass drum. Alright? So you got the bass drum, then I'm going down, so it's on the full string, but I'm still classing it as a snare drum, alright? And then I went to uh, A on the full string, 7th fret, and then on the G on the 5th fret on that same string. And that's all of a downstroke. Now if you do this without muting, you're going to get this. horrible horrible sound so it's imperative that you uh, mute out the unwanted strings basically think of it as like any bit of extra flesh you have on either hand uh, mainly the left but also the right as well you want to mute out the string so here you know I've got my, my third finger is kind of touching that third string and kind of kind of on the second and first as well a second and then the first finger is obviously muting out as much as it can I take out those notes so I'm just adding in that an extra beat in there now I've got that as opposed to Alright, so we just change our drum pattern slightly. Alright, and I hope you understand when I say that drum pattern. Alright? The reason we've changed it is we've thrown in this, this G note now. Alright, so all this is kind of getting at is how you can make your rhythmic lead playing better. You know, if anybody's seen Jimi Hendrix do uh, Killing Floor, I believe it's called, at the Montreal Pop Festival, he's got that... Beginning riff, um, if I did that about this this kind of drumming technique, not quite as exciting. So by kind of thinking in terms of a drummer, you're playing so much more exciting so but obviously we've got to get to that so if you're struggling with this one spend more time doing this spend more time doing that so you're getting used to that separation and also the muting out of your left hand you should be able to get that. So where you play a chord and let everything stop with the left hand just taking the pressure off the chord. Even with a note. So then I'm taking a C note but I'm hitting the, the top three strings and yeah, just hitting the top three strings there. Not just playing one. If you want to get used to doing that first, fair enough. If you want to play that one string and then let it stop without using the right hand. Hello. Hello. <laughs> All right. But then you want to get to the point where you can hit those three strings and just let that third string ring out. You can hear 
hear those, those little scratchy noises from the strings of it being muted out, and it gives it that kind of funky, bluesy rock kind of sound, you know. Uh, another example has just come to mind, Steve Ray Vaughan, you know. When you see all the wear patch, it's because he's doing all that, you know, he's been really physical and abusive with his playing, but I guess... Just apart from the end there, we're playing the top three strings, it's just single notes, but he's hitting all the strings. So again, that kind of percussive kind of sound, you know, that rhythmic percussive kind of sound. Right, here's another little idea based on this A minor chord. So where we had our little thing going on now, now we're gonna do this. So I'm starting off on that bottom three strings there. If you only hit the sixth and fifth, that's fine as well. And then I'm going straight on a down up on the top three strings, our snare drum. Okay, then I'm gonna hit that bottom lot of strings again, our bass drum, and then go down to the snare drum and do like a down up. So you get you got that happening. A bit cleaner and slower. One more time. If you can sing it, or if you can hum it or something, a lot, that helps a lot more because then you're putting the rhythm in your head. Okay? Then if you can do a little scratch in between that, you get a little scratch in there. Just a little one. And then we go back and repeat it pretty much, back to the bass drum, and then the top three strings again. And there'd be literally a, a boom and a ding. <laughs> All right? do another chaka going on there. So again, I'm just muting out all the strings and doing a little down up. And then we can go to a D minor. Now I'm just going to take off that kind of triad there so you get a D over C going on. But that's pretty much a straightforward strumming. And if you want to be really fancy on that last drum, you can just play the top two strings on the eighth fret there, which is coming from. That good old Chinese scale of the pentatonic. So there you have it, a percussive rhythmic lead chordal lesson going on there. And like I say, it all just helps, it gives you that kind of, you know, a bit more whack, a bit more uh, oomph to your playing, you know, which is always great to have. Stuff like that, you can't get that sound by just picking it. It just sounds so much better. Now the rake up string, let's have that one note what I want here, in this case a G to ring out. Anywho, so hope you enjoyed that. Any queries at all, please leave a comment in the section box below, and as always, I'll try and answer back and help in any way I can. And if you're interested, I am doing Skype lessons and private uh, guitar lessons as well. So below is my email if you want to get in touch about booking some guitar lessons. Hope you're all well, and I will see you next time. Take care. Bradley out.